Hi, this is Kathy Quinn with Floriani. Floriani is a division of R&K Distributing and I want to welcome you to this week's Project of the Week. Well, it's good to be back and I have to tell you I've had a great weekend. I was at a dealer's, I was up at Jackman's and we had a fantastic event. But I had a great question up there and I figured since people up there didn't really understand this function that I would go ahead and make it the subject of this project of the week. It's talking about editing and why sometimes are our one-click wonders along the bottom grayed out and why can we use them sometimes if we want to work or change something. So let's come in here and let's just look at a couple of reasons why they would work or would not work. So the first thing I'm going to do, of course, is I'm going to go get a design. Now let's come in here and I'm going to go to the free monthly designs to start with. And we'll go ahead and go to August and let's look at our August 2015 designs. Now I'm going to grab one of these designs. Let's just go down and see. They're nice, beautiful Apple stitch designs this month, I believe. Let me pull this over and we'll see. Let's see if this is an Apple stitch or an applique. How could we tell the difference? Well, this is an applique design. Now the reason I know it's applique is there is no trapping line on the inside to hold the Apple stitch fabric. So we have got a nice little applique design here um, coming towards fall. Now, if I wanted to change something about this, some stitch type with this, let's look at how we would change stitch type. Now, I'm going to come and I'm going to grab this satin stitch. Now, with that satin stitch, I want you to notice it selected everything. Why? because when I bring something in from the library, it comes in grouped. I need to take this all apart so I can play with it. So what I'm going to do is with it selected, I'm going to come up to my top toolbar, I'm going to come to my ungroup icon and click on it. Now I have ungrouped this, so now you see when I select, I can get pieces individually. Now notice, the first thing I want you to see here is when I grabbed this piece, do you notice all of my icons are available? So I could, with a one-click wonder, I could take this satin stitch and I could say, you know what, I want to make this finish of this pumpkin, because we, we do know that this is an applique, we've already looked at that. I, instead of having a satin, I might want to have a pretty decorative stitch around here, just for some different look. So maybe I would come in here and I would say, let's pick a decorative stitch. Let's apply that. And let's look and see what it would look like in 3D. So we could come in here and play and look and, and manipulate. But you noticed I had no problem selecting that and changing it to any stitch type. They're all available. Why? Because if I look underneath this, you will notice that these are all stitch types. There's a steel, there's a run, there's a steel. These are stitch types, so I could pick one and change it to something else. Let's get a different design. Now I'm going to come in here and I'm going to go into my designs. Let me get a new piece of paper up here in the upper left hand corner. Let's get something different. Let's come in here and let's look in just another folder and see what I've got in that folder. Um, well, let's see if this will work. Let's bring this in. Now with this in here, I'm going to select this. Let me look at this. Okay, great. This is perfect. I'm going to select this. Now you notice I've got it selected, but everything down here is grayed out. I cannot use I can't change anything. Now, it could be because it's grouped. Well, we're going to ungroup it. But that's not the reason either. See, if I grab this word stitches, I can't change stitches to anything. 
Stitches is where we have a manual stitch. Now you notice this little backwards E. This is a manual stitch. It means I am the needle, I am the stitch length, I am determining everything. So if I grab a manual stitch and I click, and notice I'm left mouse clicking. I'm going to do some left mouse clicks. Now I'm going to right mouse click and I am going to select that and I'm going to put stitch ends in it. Now do you see, I'm going to zoom in so you can see really close here. Do you see how on this you can see exactly where I clicked on the screen. Notice there is no standard stitch length. I was the needle. Now let's take a run stitch and do basically the same thing. I'll change the color. Let's do exactly the same thing. I'm clicking at the same point with a series of left mouse clicks. Now let me right mouse click to create that stitch. Now notice, do you see how you have a stitch point every three millimeter or two and a half millimeters? Because it doesn't matter how many times I click on screen, this stitch is going to hold that because it's a run stitch. It's not a manual. Now you notice it puts some close stitches at the beginning and the end because that's having it tie on and tie off so it won't pull loose. Now if I grab this stitch, notice everything here is available. I could say change it to a steel. So I could come in here and start changing this stitch to something else with it selected. Let me get it. Let me turn off my stitch points. Whoops, let me fit it to screen, excuse me. Okay, so let's go ahead and select my run stitch here. And I can change that. I could say make it a make it a decorative stitch. Let's make it a steel. And I could move on down and start changing it. Now let's come back and grab this manual stitch that we have created. Notice the minute I grab this manual stitch, everything is grayed out. The reason being that is a manual stitch. It can't be changed into anything because I have already determined the stitch length. What that is used for is a lot of times when your program will tie on and tie off, it will use a manual stitch. Also, if you hand lay, underlay, that is a manual stitch. So when you have a design and you want to change an element of that design, see, I can't just select the whole design. So if I come up here and select this, I can't come in here and change this. Nothing's available because there's manual stitches in there. So what I would need to do to come in here and start playing is, let's say I wanted to change this satin path. I would select it. Now look, I just grabbed only the satin path. I didn't grab the stitches. Now I can change that. I can say, I want that to have a different density. I want it to have a different width. Maybe I want that to be a decorative stitch. So when you're trying to edit a design, if you grab a piece of a design and you can't understand why you do not have tools that are available, I guarantee you it's because you have gotten a stitches in there. So when you're in that, drop down your box. And what I mean by that, let me shut this properties down so you can see it really clear. If I come underneath this flower, click the plus, I can see every element of that design. Now I can change every element in here except the stitches. So if I grab this satin path, I can change that. I could say, let's see, I've got that steel. Then I could turn around and with my properties box, I could come in here and manipulate the width of that steel. Whoops. Come in here, I could manipulate width. I can do anything. So when you're trying to edit and you're getting frustrated because you don't understand why your tools grayed out, make sure in your segments or your sequence view that you have selected a stitch that can be changed. And what can we change? We can change a run, a steel, a satin, a fill, anything except 
stitches. So when you want to change something, make sure you don't grab the stitches. Now let's say I wanted to come in here and I wanted to change several satin paths at once. Well, I would hold my control key and I would select everything I wanted to work with. So if I wanted to change all of these in here at the same time, I'm holding down my control key, grabbing that satin path, so I could change them all at once. But notice I'm skipping the stitches. So I could come in here and say I want them to be a different color. I want them to be a different stitch type. So you can see in here what I'm doing makes it very easy to understand how to grab a segment and edit it if you understand what your limitations are. So that actually is today's lesson because we wanted to talk about why do you get frustrated. Well there should be no more frustration. Skip the stitches and then you can go ahead and manipulate. These are either travel stitches or tie-ons or tie-off. You don't need to worry about those because those are really a component in the design you're going to see. They're an underneath stitch. So the ones you want to change are your satins, your runs, your steels, and your fills. So I hope this kind of cleared up some frustration for some of y'all this week. So when you need to go into edit, it makes it much easier to work with. I look forward to seeing you next week at our project of the week.